I know that this is totally off topic, so regardless of what it is, tomorrow we are celebrating our 10th year anniversary because I've been with that woman. She's just sitting right there looking at me. You should probably say hi to the camera. Say hi, people. Hi, people. Say I love this Mexican dude. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and... Um, Basically, totally off topic, like I said. So, yeah, I guess this is how we end 2020, after all. With a big old shoe bang, ba boom, bada boom, bam boom. <laughs> uh, this is my fire right now. We're sitting outside, enjoying a fire. This is where we're currently living. Our living situation after our house burned down. There she is again. Hi. She's a mute. She don't talk. She's shy. And that's my stack of wood. And yes, those were the only 45 pound plates. Those ones there. And the ones over there. 45 and 35 behind them. That I was able to save. Hey, what's up, family and friends and family that I had? Anyways, tonight is gonna be here in a few hours, New Year's for 2021. By 2020, uh, time to, for a new beginning, a new year, new goals. Uh, you know, a lot of things, a lot of things are are yet to come. You know, and 2020 sucked, like everybody knows. Uh, for me, it started off pretty good. I was completely into my fitness goal, and I was doing the thing, and you know, taking my ass to the gym every day, going to work, whatnot. You know. Uh, but what I do have to share is, you know, right in the middle of the year, you know, my life had a twist and uh, our house burned, you know, our house burned back, you know, September 8th. That was the date, you know, that our house burned. Uh, oh, with that said, it's like, after a house burn. I became a little bit more humble, more open-minded by a whole lot of things, um, everything in general, uh, and I was able to open up my thoughts and process a little bit more different, you know, the quality of time that I spend with my kids, how I treat them, how I react to their behaviors, uh, as well as my workplace, you know, my workplace sucks, it's not the best job, you know, it pays bills, you know, it's a job, you know, uh, everybody goes to work, whether they like it or not, you know, and that, that goes even for the people with good jobs in life, you know what I mean, I'm pretty sure that there's doctors out there that probably hate being a doctor, you know, they probably don't, don't, don't look forward to coming into work doing a surgery, you know, regardless of what it is, you know, uh, 2020 has been a hell of a ride, you know. We lost Kobe, you know. Who would who have ever thought that we would lose Kobe, you know, at the beginning of the year, you know. And then next thing you know, it's like, oh, we got to wear a face mask, you know. And then we got COVID, you know. Well, with all that said, you know, it's been a hell of a year, you know, 2020, like we all know. Uh, 2021, you know, I'm not sure what to expect, you know, like, a lot of people are saying, like, oh, it's going to be worse, it's going to be bad, there's, there's nothing to be afraid of, everything's going to be fine, you know, I'm going to keep pushing. Uh, next year, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, 
get back on my fitness goal. Like I, I just, this has been like my goal for the last two or three years, you know. Uh, I was doing pretty well last year, you know. I was kind of slimming down. You know, my belly was kind of gone. You know, I, I, I was loving it, you know. And then all of a sudden, fuck, man. COVID, gyms are closed. Uh, I end up uh, losing my home. My, my whole... Uh, routine changed everything you know everything had a drastic change you know so I lost track of everything that I was doing uh, you know everything that that I had planned you know was done you know I had to re rearrange my life basically with that said you know uh, now I'm back over here you know I'm staying RB you know um, I had to go ahead and buy an RV. Uh, this is where we're living. 2020, December 31st. Uh, we're living over here, you know. Everybody's living differently, you know. Everybody has got something going on of their own. But it's pretty awesome, you know. Like, I have, like, access to, like, four ponds. You know, go fishing down there. I go fishing down there. You know, there's like trout in there. I mean, I never caught any myself because I'm not a fisherman. I suck. Basically, basically show up and feed the fish. But yeah, man, back there, all those lights you see back there, they're, they're a bunch of like RBs and stuff. You know, this is just one of the ponds. Uh, there's another pond somewhere back there. You know. Um, but yeah, this is. Um, what 2020 has put me through in my lifetime, you know? Um, am I grateful for it? Yes, I am grateful for it, you know? Am I gonna be upset about like anything that um, goes wrong in 2021? Yeah, we're gonna have setbacks, you know? But the, the best thing to do is, you know, let's just keep positive, strive harder, push harder. I'm trying to get rid of that glare, you know. I haven't bought my GoPro yet, you know. But I'm going to get me a GoPro pretty soon. Because I plan on um, getting back into this whole uh, content and video making for my YouTube channel. Um, for 2021. That is one of my goals. Uh, to go and take some kind of, you know, course at... The community calls, you know, do like video editing, photography, something of that nature, you know. Uh, I want to start doing my own video for the YouTube, you know. That is my major goal right now. So that is for 2021. And I really look forward to taking care of this, you know. As well as taking care of my body, my mind, and my family, my soul. And, you know, anything that has to do with positive, you know. With being a positive individual, you know, that goes a long way. You know, I have been working on erasing all the negative people out of my life. You know, at the moment, you know, like family matters, you know. Anything that's, you know, negative drama, you know, I'm blocking it. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing the line. It's not happening with me, you know. It's, it's, there's no room for it, you know. Life is too short for that bullshit, you know. Best thing that you can do, you know. Just focus and surround yourself with positive people, you know. And I, I'm probably going to be getting my house back between March and June 2021. Um, it's been rough staying in an RV with my three daughters. We had to put my stepson, uh, we had him go to his dad's house. And that's just because, you know, I mean, we, we, we live in a small quarters, you know, I mean, you know, there's, there's like really no room. Like, if he could be somewhere else, you know, underneath a, a roof of a household other than an RV where, you know, he could continue to live life, you know, then, you know, that's probably the, in his best interest, you know. With that said, you know, uh, everybody have a blessed New Year's. Stay active. Subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, you know, do all that, and 
Don't forget that your boy's trying to make it in this YouTube world, you know, and in the fitness industry as well, you know. I don't know what they're going to take, but I'm going to keep doing it regardless of the situation that I'm in. It's going to be hard, you know, but you could always be different, you know. Uh, there's always, you know, a new day, and it's never too late to get going, you know. With that said, everybody, it was a good year. Goodbye, 2020. 2021, we're ready to rock. It's your boy Leo out here in Metford, Oregon. Peace.